This might be the one, guys. Hold your breath. <gasps> Woo! Finally. I finally managed to, to make that jump after six fails. Oh, damn. Good takedown, brother. <laughs> Alright, you took him down. Don't don't go too over the edge. Cause what is up, my fellow drivers? I'm VIP Racecar, and welcome to another episode of Asphalt Extreme Rally Racing. Before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I've gotten all the blueprints for another car. And, um, said car shall be revealed at the end of the video. And so for those looking for spoilers, you're not going to get them until the end of the video. And don't try and skip it through either because that's going to mess up the whole meaning of it being a surprise. Anyway, the first race shall begin soon. And I will see you guys at the start. And here we go, my fellow drivers. Stage one of the video is officially underway. You guys may be wondering what car I have for this episode. It's a Porsche. It's a Porsche Macan. That's my pick. A Porsche Macan. And it's an SUV. And quite obviously, I've only. Come on, cuz, we're not even halfway through the race and you're already messing up. So, as I was saying, this SUV that I have here is only for a test drive. The game will only allow me to test drive it for a certain period of time before it's. I can't drive it for free anymore. And so. So I'm making actually good progress, making the most out of this limited time event. Wasn't a drift around this hairpin trying to catch up with the dude in front. Homeboy tried to take me out, but I scared ahead of him just in time. And uh, that's going to wrap it up, my fellow drivers. The first win in the first race of the video. Pretty legit, if you ask me. Yeah, I told you guys, it's a Porsche Macan. Whatever it's pronounced. And so, um... And we're just gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the next race. And I will see you guys at the starting line. Again. Okay guys, here we go with stage two of the video. And um this race takes place in a place called Arctic Outpost in Svalbard Norway. Oh shit. Nice takedown. Like I said, it takes place in an Arctic Outpost in Svar Svarbad, Norway. That's what I think it's called. And um as you can see, I have my Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's probably the most, one of the most powerful non-rally car vehicles in my fleet, aside from one of the two trucks that I have in my fleet. So right now we're just going cruise to victory like I always do. Also, a little fun fact, I was actually going to consider making this series on Asphalt 9, but for some reason it did just, just didn't appeal to me like it did last year. I remember last year, I was playing Asphalt 9 damn near 9 o'clock. Oh, don't go over the edge. And so, like I said... I used to like it to an, to a certain extent, but it just doesn't appeal to me anymore. I don't know why. And let's go wrap it up for stage two. I'm just dominating the hell out of this game. Well, mostly dominating it because there's still some events that I have yet to conquer, and um, I'm just I'm just just starting out the career in this game. The career mode and so yeah I'll be stage three is gonna begin soon 
Stay tuned. All right, my fellow drivers, here we go with stage three of the race. As you can see, things are getting chaotic as usual. I just don't get what it is about that jump. Like, every time, every time I get to that jump, it all, I always fail it. I just hope this shit changes at some point in time. Because... That is pretty much my Achilles heel every time I come to this track, is that jump. Well, at least, at least I made up for it with a, some, take it. Oh my god, Cuzzo. Seriously? Oh, as I was saying, before that, that fucking happened. My Achilles heel at this track is... That very first jump at the start of the race. I don't know what it is, but it is really hindering me from truly mastering this track. I just don't get why. Only got two opponents left. And both and the guy in first is just way ahead of me. Oof. That almost took me up right there. Come on, brother. Stay on the gas. Stay on the gas. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get the win this time. But that's all right. Because I'm finna make a do-over pretty soon. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And here we go with... The second attempt at stage three, my fellow drivers. This might be the one, guys. Hold your breath. Woo! Finally! I finally managed to, to make that jump after six fails. Oh, damn. Good takedown, brother. <laughs> Alright, you took him down. Don't don't go too over the edge because go ah And I think I forgot to mention another Achilles heel of mine at a track like this. It has absolutely no warnings that you're about to go over the edge. Like, if you're not paying attention, like, it's over with for you. I don't know how the hell I managed to... I don't know how I managed to make that jump. Because I just wasn't going nowhere near fast enough to make it. Okay, I really fucked up there. <laughs> oh, come on, sonny boy. <laughs> well, I somewhat made it. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's appropriate to say that I'm definitely not gonna be in victory lane this time. But that's cool. Because there's like one more race coming up after this. And that's where I'm really going to redeem myself. So stay tuned. And as I've always stated in my previous episodes. If you want to see more then please like, comment, subscribe and set the notification bell to all so you never miss an episode. Well, that's going to be it. Stage 4 is coming up soon. It's getting ridiculous. Alright my fellow drivers, here we go for the final stage in the video. This time we're in the good old US of A. In a place called Urban Playground. In Detroit, Michigan. I'm telling you, it feels good to be back home in the United States. Even though it is just a video game. Oh, I almost, almost ran into that guy who took both of us out. I don't know what it is about this game, but every time I play it. Oh my god, Toledo!
I just don't get what it is about the Asphalt series in particular, but every time I play one of these games, I get strong Fast and Furious vibes from them. Maybe it's just the cartoonish violence. Oh my god, cuz of how many times is your stupid ass gonna keep crashing? Like I said, every time I play an asphalt game, I just get Fast and Furious vibes from it. Maybe it's the cartoonish violence. And maybe it's the unrealistic speeds. You know, as the latter part of the Fast and Furious series is prone to. And with Fast 9 coming out, I know a lot of y'all have seen the trailer to it. Y'all gonna be probably wondering how in the hell did the series go from simple street racing to like international espionage with vehicles and some off the wall shit like that. Well, my fellow drivers, that's gonna wrap it up for this gameplay. Well, not yet anyway, but we're almost there. We just gotta get to the the title screen and then we're gonna wrap everything up and yeah and about that special reveal I decided to hold off on it until like the next episode so sorry if I let you guys down anyway if you want to see more please like comment subscribe and set the notification bell to all so you never miss an episode I'm VIP race car over and out